Aloha guys, Scuba Chris here. You know, about nine, ten years ago, I started off using Stratix, and I liked it so much I got five Stratix, the original C series. So I decided to retire them over the years, and I eventually switched over to uh, the next generation, which are the NASIs. NASIs are basically the same thing, except they're just slightly watered down, but not much. So I ended up, this was the one that I used a lot for heavy duty, was the 5000 because it was the biggest at the time. Now, over the years, I've kind of put everything away, and I've gone with some other reels. So um, I started using this one here, the, the new NASI. This is the 4000, all right? I like the 4000 because I do shoreline plugging. So this here's the 4000 with 20-pound braid. It's out of 8.5-foot handing uh, rod. Now, eight and a half feet is kind of like stretching it for the beginning size at eight, six. All right. Preferably, you should use a 4,000 for like 10 to, yeah, nine foot all the way up to 10. So let me see. Check this out. Yeah, I got my own system. Make a fist. Yep. It's just about that far off from it. So that tells me that I'm just barely able to use this in terms of uh, my hand size, but generally speaking, this type of reel you want to use for a uh, rod in the nine to ten foot range. This here is eight and a half, but it still works. All right. And just recently, I got this bad boy, the five thousand. I had to get it. It was just the way things are, you know. I just had to get the new one, and it has all the current bells and whistles, the uh, Hagane gearing to X ship. The silent drive, everything else the other units have, like core protect, the G free body to line propulsion, has everything. All right. So, got those three. This is what it looks like. Um, some have the um, T knobs. This one has the uh, pretty much a decent knob for salt water when your hands are going to be wet all the time, good grip. So I just have to figure out what type of line I have to put on this bad boy. So the gear ratio, 6.2 to 1, complete every one turn. Uh, this will rotate 6.2 times, which is pretty good. Uh, the max drag is 24 pounds, which is um, not bad for a uh, high-end 5,000 size reel. And the bearings count is 5 plus 1, meaning 5 regular high-performance bearings and 1 roller bearing. Weight is 10.8 ounces, so it's not light, it's heavy. It's kind of where it should be, and for every crank, you bring in 41 inches of line on every crank. Because, and so you got to be careful not to um, come in too fast with your timing. When you're bringing in your lures, your jigs, or your, your baits, just kind of work it a bit. Okay, if you want to go mono, you can put on 195 yards. And, it, and that's for a 12 pound mono. Now, if you want to go to 14 pound mono, it's only going to go 165 yards. Brake capacity is 260 yards for 20, and I'm prob that's what I'm going to en probably end up doing with this. Now, 30 pounds is 235 yards, and you still can go 30 because it is a bigger spool. This is a 5,000. 40 pounds, 185. Um, I, like I said before, if you go 40, 50, just get a bigger reel. You know, it, you don't you don't need that. You got to match up the reel size to the line and the targets that you are acquiring. Now, I think it was just simple progression going from the 4,000 up to the 5,000. Um, I had the 3,000, but, you know, it's for what I do, the 3,000 was getting a little bit too small because I've been getting some big hits here and there. So I went up with the 4. The 4 is a good all-around size, but... Every now and then, I, I want to go out with some really light plugs, you know, um, three quarters to one and a quarter ounces. So that's why I decided to get the 5,000. So I'm going to spool this with line and probably, like I said, most likely 20 pound test braid. See what I'll do. Thank you. Okay, just got to using my spooler and I just spooled on a hell of a lot of 20 pound test braid onto my new 5,000 nasty. So there you go.